Hey guys, I hope you're doing well. My name is Quinn and welcome to my channel. So this week I'm reviewing translucent setting powders for my cheap versus expensive series. Now translucent setting powders are a must have in my makeup collection because they are essential to help set your liquid or cream foundation and really just locks everything in place and increases the longevity of your makeup throughout the day. It's also wonderful for improving the look of imperfections by blurring fine lines and wrinkles, pores and blemishes and just gives your skin a really nice smooth look. You can also use it to touch up your makeup throughout the day because it's so good at absorbing excess oil and just gives your face a more refreshed look. What I really like about it is because it's so great at absorbing excess oil and moisture, it takes away that tacky, sticky feeling that um, foundation leaves your skin feeling and it just makes it smooth and soft. You don't have to worry about hair or anything like getting caught in your makeup, which is like a pet peeve of mine. So in this video, I'm going to be reviewing the more affordable option for setting powders this week, which is the Cody Airspun Loose Face Powder. Now, this brings back so many memories for me. I remember my grandmother using this every single day when I was a little girl. The fragrance for this though is so distinct. It has like a perfumey, powdery um, smell to it that's actually pretty strong and uh, a lot of people actually don't like the smell, but for me, it's like really nostalgic. Uh, but I do think that they offer this in like an unscented version as well. I just haven't been able to find it online, but they might have it in stores. But nostalgia aside, that's not the reason why I chose this setting powder. The reason why I chose the Cody Airspun face powder is because it's actually number three on the list of Amazon's most wished for in makeup. So it is a cult favorite and also one of the most popular affordable setting powders on the market right now. Now I got this on Amazon for $5.97 and from what I was able to find online, it comes in three shades, translucent, honey beige, and naturally neutral. The description on the back here says it's a beauty legacy since 1935, featuring an exclusive microspun formula where loose powder particles are spun and swirled until they reach a cloud-like softness. This ultra smooth powder hides tiny lines, wrinkles, and blemishes and gives a new softness to your skin. Used to set makeup or as a foundation, long lasting and dermatologically tested. All right, so even though I remember my grandmother using this every single day as a kid, it's been been so long that I really don't remember very much about it. The only thing I do remember was the uh, Cody Airspun that my grandma used to get it came in like a cardboard container and this is plastic. So they've upgraded on that, but I'm pretty sure it's the same formula that she used. <laughs> so let's open this and see what the texture and what it looks like inside. Oh, okay. I forgot about the little puff. Uh, that comes with it. Oh my gosh, this is such like a signature thing that they had. Oh, and it's so soft. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. I don't know, maybe I'm like biased because I grew up smelling this, but mm, I think it smells so good. It like, it smells like perfume it's, and it's not as strong as I thought it would be. Oh my God, this brings back so many memories. All right, I'm gonna just, test it out and see how it feels. Ooh, that is so soft. I love that consistency. It's so, so like fine. It feels so silky in between my fingers. All right, so it feels amazing on my fingers, but let's go ahead and put it on my face to see how it will help set my makeup which is its main purpose. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna do is go ahead and apply the concealer and set the concealer with the uh, Cody Airspun on one side of my face. I'm going to leave the translucent setting powder off on the other side and then I'll continue on with the rest of my makeup. That way you guys can kind of see a side by side of exactly what the translucent scented powder does and to see if it's necessary for like a makeup look. First off, I'm going to go ahead and apply my concealer. And for this, I'm using the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind. I love this, it's a great price, it works really well, and I've been, it's been my go-to for probably two years now. I think this is a lot more than I normally have on. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with a beauty blender and just blend all of that out. All right, so now that I have my concealer on, especially my under eye concealer, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with the Cody uh, translucent setting powder. For this, I am going to use the little cotton pad that comes with the Cody Airspun. I'm almost gonna like bake it onto my face. 
I normally use my beauty blender to put a setting powder onto my face for baking and this does such a better job. Um, and then with a loose kind of fluffy brush, I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of the translucent powder on the rest of my face, just so that the rest of the makeup will glide on a little bit easier and it's not as tacky and sticky. And then while that sets, I'm going to contour. And this is the Hoola Benefit. I love this, this is such a great contour. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. Remember, this side has no translucent setting powder on it. This just has my um, concealer and my foundation, so it's still pretty tacky. So any powder that goes onto this side of my face, it's going to just stick onto the tackiness from the foundation and the concealer. So this side is a little bit softer, and this side, you can see, it's a lot harsher. Um, which is going to make it a little bit harder to blend out. So now that I have my contour on, I'm going to take like a big fluffy brush and just blend out all of the Cody Airspun that's on my face still so that it's not <laughs> looking like this. That is a really nice finish. It's so soft. I can see now though why the scent of the Cody Airspun would bother a lot of people because once you have it on your face, it's very like prominent. It You can smell it, it's really hard to kind of get away from because it's on your face. So I can see how that would bother some people. All right, so as you guys can see, this side with the Cody Airspun looks more diffused, it looks more blurred out, and um, just looks a lot softer than this side. And for me, I like that because it's not as tacky. This side is still a little bit sticky because I did use a liquid foundation. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and put blush on, just to kind of finish up this look. This is the Japanese Velvet Touch Blush in shade two. All right guys, so this is pretty much it. This is my whole makeup look. This side has the Cody Airspun translucent setting powder. This side does not. So I'm going to go about with the rest of my day and I'll check back with you guys in a few hours and let you guys know um, if the Cody Airspun helps out this side of my face at all. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit. Okay, so it is 10.30 p.m. right now. So it's been over nine hours since I put on my makeup and here are the results. I am actually pretty impressed with the Cody Airspun uh, translucent face powder because as you guys can see, this side is the one with the airspun on and then this side is the one that doesn't have anything on it. And you can definitely tell that the side with the Cody Airspun is a little bit more smooth. It's a little bit more like diffused and it just looks um, softer in my opinion uh, over the side that doesn't have it. If you take a closer look, you can definitely see that the side that doesn't have the Cody Airspun translucent powder is a little bit more oily. You can see where my nose is, that's where I produce the most oil on my face. You can see that that side, um, pretty much the makeup is gone on my nose, and that's not the case with the side with the Cody Airspun on it. I'm actually really impressed with this translucent powder considering it is only $6. Now, the Translucent setting powder that I'm currently using is I want to say like 40 to 50 dollars I just recently started baking my makeup onto my face and I never realized like how useful it was and how much I would like it um, Until I started doing it, but with a setting powder that's you know 40 to 50 dollars I never felt like I could be generous with it and with the Cody airspun because of the price tag I feel like I could be a lot more generous with it I can actually apply more product to my face and bake it so I really like it Look wise, I think it looks really great. I am a huge follower of Tati's uh, beauty reviews and she raves about the Cody Airspun. She loves the stuff and I can definitely see why. Now let's talk about the negative. I think there's only one negative for me after using this um, for the first time, first impression and everything, and that is the smell. As much as the smell and this whole brand reminds me of my childhood and my grandmother, but as soon as I put it on, it was very overwhelming. It was a scent that I couldn't escape because it was on my face, so I can definitely tell why a lot of people were bothered by this scent. So if I were to ever get this again and I am able to find it, I would definitely get the unscented version of this. It's a nice smell, but it's very overwhelming because it's on your face, it's right next to your nose, and so yeah, it was just a little bit too much for me. And especially if I, for some reason, choose to wear another fragrance, I feel like that wouldn't mix very well. But other than that, there really aren't any negatives. The price is on point at 
$5.97. I think it was just slightly over $6 with tax. The setting and staying power is so nice. I didn't touch this up at all, but normally I feel like I would. Um, touch this up just a little bit because you know this side did get a little bit more oily But as you can see if you do a side-by-side -side comparison this side is much more oily than this um, The makeup on here didn't stay as well as the makeup on this side. This side is just so smooth overall I am so impressed with this translucent setting powder guys I can definitely see all of the hype with this product now because it really does work It does a great job setting your foundation locking it in um, and then also just really helps blurs you know all your imperfections so for what it promises to do i think it definitely 100 percent delivered on that so yeah i would definitely recommend this anyway guys that is pretty much it have you guys tried the cody air spun translucent face powder before if you have let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below please give this video a like if you guys enjoyed it and if you haven't done so already be sure to click on that subscribe button right there and if you have already subscribed please click on that notification bell so you can see more videos like this i hope to see you guys in the next video bye